I think it's important to just say that I have a slug problem in my garden. And to that, I have now found a solution that I can use. So I have a new batch of seedlings that I've started and I will be putting them into the ground soon. But in order to protect seedlings from slugs, I need to protect them by first making sure that I decrease just a little bit the population of the slugs. So in order to reduce the slug problem that I have, I went on Amazon and I bought these slug traps. These are just cups and then they have a little lid. And what you do is you put some beer into these slug traps. I bought a very cheap beer. You don't need to buy an expensive type of beer. I got the six pack of beer for less than two euros. These slug traps, I got about 12 of them, although I don't think that I'll be using all 12 of them. So about that much will go in. On this side of the garden, I would like to put about two of the beer traps so that it's not overcrowded. I have found that the easiest way to actually dig holes in my garden when I want to place um, items that are as big as this is to actually use this Gardena uh, garden trough. Its main use is actually to dig up holes for bulbs. I have chosen this spot in particular because it's always in the shade. Even when there's sunlight, this pole kind of blocks the light. And there's already evidence that I do have snails and slug in this part of the garden because I can clearly see this shell that is right over here. I have this hand rake that I can use just to push away some of the wood chips. So you start off by basically opening it up and then just going deep with it and pulling it out. And this is more than deep enough for me because I have soil that is coming right up till somewhere over here. And this is the slug trap with the beer in it. Just pushing it down, really till it's level with the ground, making it easier for the slugs to just roll in. I'll be gone for about two or three days from the garden. And maybe when I come back, I will see some progress with my slug trap. It's been a few days since I placed the beer traps. I've been away on holiday, so I haven't had the chance to see how the beer traps are doing, if they've caught any slugs. I'll be seeing it for the first time with you. In total, it's been about three days since I put the beer traps in. I'm hoping that within these three days, I've caught some few slugs. Let's see how it's looking. Oh, I've caught a lot of slugs in here. I've got quite a bit of slugs in here. So I actually placed about six of these beer traps all over the garden and I now see that in order to actually make sure that the slugs do get out, I have to remove the trap from the hole. This is normally meant to only trap slugs, but I do see about three beneficial insects that have fallen in, mainly being the wasps. I don't see any bees like bumblebees. I think I have to consider a way that I can protect the, the bees and the wasps from coming in. So I'm going to be collecting all of the beer traps that I placed so that I can clean out the beer trap and find a way to actually protect the beneficial insects. I have removed all the beer traps from the garden, uh, the ones that I had placed. And I do notice that there's a bit of a difference between some of the beer traps that were in places where there's a few flowers and some where there's no flowers or where the beer trap was covered by mostly leaves. So I think if I want to start protecting the wasps, 
I have to make sure that where I place the beer traps is not close to flowers or it's in a truly shady place that is only accessible if you can crawl under all of the leaves. The first one over here was quite in a shady place that only has um, leafy vegetables growing and didn't have any um, flowers close by compared to say for example this one that is just packed with my wasps over here. So what I'm going to be doing is emptying them out by putting them through this net and seeing just how many slugs we got. The point is to figure out is this good for an average of about two to three days? Am I happy with the results? Would you be happy with the results? Let's see. This one only has two wasps that have fallen inside. Yeah. This one has a few more wasps, but mostly slugs. While there's definitely pros and cons to the beard trap method, the cons being that it does attract some of your beneficial insects such as the wasps, I think it really works well. You just have to manage and put it in places where it will be difficult for the wasps to actually get to. So don't put it near flowers, put it where there's more leaves and where it's more difficult for the wasps to just fly in and get into the beer. This is definitely working for me. I'm just going to tweak the method that I use and make sure to protect the wasps. I trust that this video has been quite helpful. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the One Dutch Garden. See you on my next video. Bye!